we are going to see the range of frequency. The range of frequency is divided into three categories. What are the three categories? So that we are going to see it in today's our class. First one is infrasonic. What is meant by infrasonic? Okay. Second one is ultrasonic. And third one is ordinal range. So these are the three categories. What is meant by infrasonic? The frequency less than 20 hertz. Less than 20 hertz. Clearly understand that right? the frequency less than 20 hertz is known as infrasonic. Example, dropping a pin in our classroom. Dropping a pin in our classroom. Dropping a pin in our classroom. So this is an example for uh, infrasonic. Same way, if you are murmuring a secret to your friend, that is also infrasonic. It is less than 20 hertz. The second one, ultrasonic, it is more than, clearly understand, more than 20 kilohertz. More than 20 kilohertz. That is the whistling of the dog. Okay? Whistling of the dog. Example, then even the sound produced by the whale. Okay? Sound produced by the whale also ultrasonic. That is more than 20 kilohertz. And the last one is the audible range. This, our human ear, that is between 20 hertz to, okay, 20,000 hertz. This can be clearly heard by our human ear, the capacity, that is between 20 hertz to 20,000 hertz or 20 kilohertz. This is known as audible range. Now, the range of frequency is of three categories. They are infrasonic, ultrasonic and audible range. Infrasonic less than 20 hertz is uh, known as infrasonic and dropping a pin in our classroom or murmuring a secret to the uh, friend is uh, infrasonic. Ultrasonic more than 20 kilohertz, whistling of dog and the sound produced by the whale. Audible range, that is the human ear is the audible range. Next class, we will see the topic music and noise with differences.